Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'll be talking about the point to point tunneling protocol and discussing its pros and cons. Now, point to point tunneling protocol is a popular VPN protocol that has been around for decades. It was developed by Microsoft in the 1990s and is widely used due to its ease of setup and compatibility with a wide range of devices. However, there are pros and cons to using PPTP in VPN security, which will be explored in this video. So when it comes to pros, one of the main advantages of PPTP is its ease of setup. It requires minimal configuration, making it a popular choice for novice users and small businesses. Another advantage is its fast speeds, as it has a low overhead and uses less encryption, which makes it faster than other VPN protocols. Additionally, it is widely supported by various operating systems and devices, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. So you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to using this protocol. Now moving on to the cons. The main disadvantages of PPTP is its weak security. It uses outdated encryption protocols and is vulnerable to various types of attacks including man in the middle attacks and brute force attacks. Another disadvantage is that it's easily blocked by some firewalls making it less effective in bypassing internet censorship and geo restrictions. PPTP also lacks advanced features such as split tunneling and multiple authentication methods, making it less versatile and secure than other VPN protocols. So in conclusion, while the point to point tunneling protocol is easy to set up fast and widely supported, it has weak security, it's easily blocked and it lacks advanced security features. Therefore, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons and consider other VPN protocols protocols such as OpenVPN for example, which offers better security and advanced features. Now if you're interested in a top notch VPN, here are my top 3 recommendations. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best 3 VPNs overall. Of course they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video and that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus you can secure up to 5 simultaneous connections per account. and and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value of VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking 
pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.